Hello guys, I'm Vishal from Edureka and I welcome you all to this online training session. Today I'm going to give you top 10 reasons as to why one should go ahead and learn Microsoft Azure. So let's not waste any time and quickly get started. The first reason on my list is security. Now when you talk about cloud service providers, people normally have their doubts whether these platforms are secure enough or not. But Microsoft Azure puts all these debates to rest. It uses something called a security development life cycle. This ensures security even from the operations perspective and also from the customer's perspective. Plus they have more than 50 compliance programs which ensure that all these stringent policies are implemented and they're thoroughly taken care of. So if you're worried about security, do not. Microsoft Azure will definitely take care of all your security concerns. Integration. Since people want to move their data to cloud, we would be talking about a lot of applications. And when you talk about a lot of applications, you need to be able to integrate these applications with your service provider. That is why you need to have good integration and APIs. What Microsoft Azure does is it first of all provides you with .NET integration. Now we all know that .NET is a very popular language. And if you are able to incorporate or use Microsoft .NET with Microsoft Azure, it would be a big plus. And Microsoft Azure exactly does that. Apart from that, if you do want to go ahead and use other applications or maybe other technologies, you are free to do that as well because it has something called as API management, which ensures integration or collaboration of various applications with Microsoft Azure. So again, integration is something that can be done very easily by using Microsoft Azure. Analytics and machine learning. Now when you talk about analytics or machine learning, you know that you would be dealing with huge amount of data. Now in that case you need databases that can deal with both SQL kind of queries and no SQL kind of queries. That means both structured and unstructured data. Microsoft Azure makes arrangements for these type of queries and databases as well. It also supports blockchain as a service and various other algorithms like your machine learning algorithms, your artificial intelligence algorithms and a lot of things that you can do in machine learning and data science basically. Now we all know that these technologies and terms are very popular in recent times and they are here to stay and Microsoft Azure will ensure that it takes care of all these technologies and approaches as well. DevOps. This is another approach which is very popular. What it does is it brings in developers and operators together. When you talk about software development now it has various phases and these two teams play a very important role in it. And they normally have a conflict because they share similar interests, but they deal in different environments. What DevOps does is it brings these two teams together and that ensures breezy development and it also ensures fine tuning of various applications. Microsoft Azure also incorporates this approach. So if you are interested in DevOps, Microsoft Azure will let you do that as well. Sixth on this list is hybrid capabilities or in simple words customization. You need to have a platform that is highly consistent because you're talking about different applications coming together. Microsoft Azure provides with that kind of a platform. Plus it also ensures high level of connectivity. It uses something called as CDNs that is content delivery networks and VPNs. Now these things ensure static movement of data and applications and that is a very healthy point to have when you're talking about hybridization or customization of your applications. Fifth on this list we have PaaS offerings. PaaS stands for platform as a service. What Microsoft Azure does is it provides you with a platform where you can easily set up your applications. That means you can build them, you can manage them, you can monitor them and also take care of all the security issues as well. And also all these things happen at a very low cost. That means your cost to set up is very less. Fourth on this list we have learning curve. If you wish to incorporate a particular technology or a service provider, it should be easy to learn. And that is the case with Microsoft Azure. It is fairly easy to pick up and understand. Plus we have a lot of documentations and study groups that let you go ahead and learn Microsoft Azure. The next point on this list is scalability. This is often the problem with cloud services. The reason why cloud came into existence was it wanted to overtake or overcome this problem of scalability because it was difficult to pre-decide how many servers or space you are going to use. So people moved to cloud and Microsoft Azure definitely takes care of this issue because it enables granular scaling and it lets you scale up and down as per your need. This makes the system very flexible and easy to make changes. That is if you want to have a completely serverless application, you can do that as well. 
cost efficiency now this is a very important point because when you talk about money people normally tend to look at businesses where they can save a lot of money and yet end up making a lot more money than what they've invested microsoft azure ensures that you use a model called as pay as you go that means you would be paying only for those services that you use and only for the time duration you are using them plus you can also go ahead and keep track of all the costs and the money that you would be investing or you have already invested that means you have ready to use metrics which tell you as in if you use these services for this longer period of time you would be charged this much so you can keep a perfect track of how much money you would be investing or you are using right now so if cost efficiency is something that is there in your mind microsoft azure will definitely make sure that you pay very less money the final few now when i was jotting these points down i realized that i had more than 10 points so i just went ahead and jotted few points for my last point serverless on demand i believe i just discussed this point that means while you create your applications you would not want to get into affairs where you have to deal with your servers or at least maintain or monitor them what microsoft azure does is it maintains your servers and softwares for you so you can focus on your business problems and create your applications independently so it is truly serverless on demand container services now this is nothing but an approach again this lets you have containerization or rather virtualization at the operating system level which ensures that you can go ahead and build your applications with much more ease now there is a containerization technique called as um, kubernetes and what microsoft azure does is it lets you use kubernetes that means you can simplify your process of building applications again identity provider this is an important point as well now when you're talking about a lot of applications you will have to go ahead and sign in for every application identity provider what it does is it lets you have a single sign in so you do not have to worry about going ahead and signing in again and again and this brings us to the last point that is application monitoring since you are dealing with so many applications again you want to be in a situation where you have all the metrics or all the data that is moving around and you would want to keep a track of all this data what application monitoring does is it provides you with a feature called as insight management which gives you metrics at a single click and you can have all the information that you want to have so these are some of the points i feel which are very important and i felt that these were the top points that i wanted to discuss with you people if you people do have any different suggestions or you feel that there are certain other points which are more important than these you can definitely share those points in the comment section below as far as this session goes i would be resting my session thank you bye bye I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning.